Yo, what's up everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool circle face cam in Final Cut Pro 10. So you can see right here, here is the example right here. So this could be you know, you're doing like reacting videos, stream videos, or in this case, um, doing a tutorial. Having a kind of a circle face cam is just something to add to your video. Now I personally do kind of faceless, uh, faceless videos, but if you are that type of person that you know, likes being on camera, and then I highly encourage you to try to use one of these um, really cool face cam overlays. But again, I'm not, you know, I use, you know, faceless videos. But if you do end up, you know, doing like reacting videos or, or kind of videos where you show your face and show a screen at the same time, or like gaming videos, it's really important to have this nice um, face cam overlay. So what I'm gonna do right here, as you can see right here, here is the here is the screen recording right here and then here is me right here so you want to place the face game on top of the screen recording right there what you want to do next is head over to the effects panel right here scroll down to mask and then what you want to do is you go to image mask right here and then just apply an image mask onto the top clip so just applying an image mask um, right there now what you want to do next while well, wait for Final Cut Pro 10 to render and basically it's going to use a shapes generator to be able to basically just kind of use um, this play use the image mask kind of as a drop zone to kind of import and then um, the shapes uh, the shapes uh, generator. Next I'm gonna go do is head over here to the title and generators right here. Go to the beginning right here and go to generators, scroll down until you find shapes right here. And I'm just going to import a shapes generator and then control D four seconds right here. So all I did right here was I just imported um, a shapes generator right there. Next one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over head over here to the shapes generator right here, head over to this icon right here, and then make sure it's on circle. You can change to any icon you want. I'm gonna go to these, all these different shapes. I'm gonna go ahead and change it to a circle right here. So just change to a circle right here. And here are a couple settings I would encourage you to just get rid of. Go to the outline, uncheck the outline right here, and then drop shadow opacity. I would just get rid of the drop shadow uh, altogether because I think it looks weird um, with those blurred edges. So get rid of the outline and then get rid of the drop shadow. And of course, you know, you can mess with uh, a whole bunch of more settings, a whole, a whole bunch of settings, you know, if you really want to. But that's just settings that I encourage you to change. And the next thing you want to do is you want to go over here to the image mask right here. Click on this drop zone icon right here. Click on the shape right here, the circle right here, and then click on apply. And there you go. You have now basically fit your face cam into a circle overlay. And again, you can change it to a square, a star, an arrow, any shape that's on the shape generator, you can go ahead and do that. Now I also will give you another way to do this with a little more manual control. Um, this is more kind of like a preset. And this basic, the nice thing about this is it makes sure you, that the circle is perfect versus the, the other way, it's not always guaranteed to be a perfect circle. So this is obviously you know, a perfect circle. Um, so that's just you know my opinion, I think that looks a lot better. So I'm gonna go over here to the image mask right here I'm gonna go to the offset and let's just offset it right here and then let's just go right here for example obviously you, know, you can adjust it um, to your liking but all you gonna do is just, uh, go to the offset and just move the offset until it's centered right there you can you know adjust scale position everything like that but you want to be able to offset the mask to make sure it's perfectly in center because obviously you're probably not gonna record yourself perfectly um, in center of the frame highly highly doubt that but you can see it, so you can just offset the mask just in case something um, is off so I'm just gonna go here I'll change the scale to like 57% it all is dependent on your example so all I'm gonna do right there is just change the scale of the face given 50% you can make it bigger larger smaller but and, and but that's just you know the important thing is you can now adjust the scale of the entire um, video right there again it all it's all dependent on your uh, example what I'm trying to do right here is oh, first of all waiting for Final Cut to render I'm trying to fit it into this section right here so let's just right here take the x-axis move it over here take the y-axis uh, let's just put it somewhere around like there just for the example and there you go and I'll, I'll move it down just a little bit right here and there you go in my opinion I think that looks pretty good just for my personal preference if that's like if I was doing you know actually having a face cam while I did tutorials again I do face cam faceless videos but if I was doing a face cam that's probably where I would put the face cam right there and there you go as you can see right there you could just have it down um, in the center or down in the bottom right or the bottom left the top left the middle it all depends on what you want to do so I'm gonna go over here go to the shapes generator and you can say well can I delete the shapes generator yes you can delete the shapes generator and still have the circle right there so there we go that you know is how you create that really cool um, circle face cam 
Another method I want to go over is by using the shape mask. So if I head over here to the shape mask right here, or head over to mask right here, I'm going to go over to shape mask right here, and I'm just going to apply a shape mask onto the image right there. As you can see right here, you now have the image cut out into a nice little um, shape mask right there. Now you may ask yourself, okay, how in the world do I get it to a circle? Well, you can go ahead and you adjust the points right here. I would encourage you to take the feather and turn it down to zero. That way you don't have any of these weird um, feathered edges. And now what you want to do is you want to change the curvature to 100%. And now I shall do that first. And then I'll go over here to the shape mask right here. And then as you can see right here, I can now adjust the circle or, you know, or change the shape of it right there as you can see right there you know obviously you could adjust uh, a couple more settings and now I think you're probably starting to realize why I decided to use um, the shape generator and the image mask as you can see it's really hard to control it and get a perfect circle but just in case the shape mask or the shape generator a technique doesn't work this is another way to do it right here but as you can see it's a lot more time consuming and takes a lot more work to make sure that the circle is perfect and I don't even know if you could even get the circle um, perfect at all but that's just you, as you can see there's a lot of limitations I could try to go to radius right here and as you can see right there that look you know okay but again it's not a perfect circle but I'm not you know trying to be like a negative person he, he, this this method definitely can work so I would encourage you I would probably encourage you to use a shape generator method first and if that really doesn't work then try the shape mask you can create a similar look but again I think the shape generator gives you a more accurate and kind of like perfect example of what you want right there uh, kind of just rambling while Final Cut renders my project so let's head over here to scale and let's change this one I don't know like 50% right here or she'll go back to like 57% right here and again wait for Final Cut Pro um, tend to render right there obviously you can, you can skip steps but I just want to make sure nothing happens but there is you, you, you can use the same method for the shape mask as the image mask with the um, shape generator again I'll say it a million times again like I'm kind of rambling um, well final cut renders I think the shape mask is better and also I don't you really can't get any other shape with the shape mask versus the, sh the shapes generator you can go ahead and change it to like a, 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 um, a, a hexagon a triangle an arrow you have more control but as you can see right there there we go now you created basically the exact same look um, with the shape mask right there and voila now you have a circle face cam so you can do with an image mask and a shapes generator or you can do with a shape mask it just depends on the actual look that you want and you know which method you prefer as you can see I think the shape mask um, looks uh, or takes a little more time um, than the image mask but that is completely dependent on you and your situation I just wanted to give you two ways two methods of creating the same look right there so as you can see right here now let's just pretend I am talking you know, about the tour obviously you know these are two separate videos uh, these don't at all you know correlate with each other but as you can see right there you know, I'm just talking about the tutorial right there and there you go you have a really cool circle face Kim I think the, the circle looks better than having like a try like a, a square face cam or a rectangular face cam I think this the circle just looks a lot better so that's what it looks like right there and then here's the shape mask right here as you can see I think the image mask or the, the shapes generator looks a little bit better but there you go use this really cool um, circle face cam right there and that's pretty much it Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 260 Final Cut Pro 10 uh, Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.